Week 1 to 2. Conception occurs when a sperm meets an egg in the fallopian tube. The fertilized egg, now called a zygote, undergoes several cell divisions. It's about the size of a pinhead. The zygote travels down the fallopian tube and into the uterus where it implants in the uterine lining. This process is like a tiny seed taking root in fertile soil. Week 3 to 4, the embryo undergoes gastrulation where it forms three primary germ layers, ectoderm, endoderm and mesoderm. These layers will eventually give rise to all tissues and organs in the body. The embryo's major organs begin to form, including the heart, lungs and brain. It's like building a complex puzzle, with each piece fitting together perfectly. By weeks 5 to 6, the heart starts beating and pumping blood through its chambers. Limbs form and fingers and toes begin to develop. At this stage, the embryo is about the size of a grain of rice. The heart beats around 100 times per minute, pumping blood through its tiny chambers. The embryo's digestive system starts to form, including the pancreas and liver. During week 7 to 8, the eyes begin to form and the retina starts to develop. The ears start to develop and the auditory nerve forms. The nose and mouth begin to take shape. The embryo's senses are starting to develop, preparing it for life outside the womb. It's like a tiny camera capturing images and sounds from the world around it. Week 9 to 12, the fetus's major organs continue to develop and mature. The pancreas starts producing digestive enzymes. The kidneys start producing urine. The fetus is about the size of a strawberry and its fingers and toes are fully formed. The fetus can swallow and kick, preparing for life outside the womb. Around weeks 13 to 16, the fetus's skin thickens and fat layers begin to form. The pancreas starts producing insulin and the liver begins to produce bile. The fetus's organs are maturing, getting ready for life outside the womb. It's like a tiny factory, producing hormones and enzymes essential for growth and development. Between weeks 17 and 20, the fetus's senses become more refined. It can detect light, sound and touch. The fetus can also swallow and kick. The fetus is about the size of an avocado and its senses are becoming more refined. It's like a tiny explorer discovering the world around it. Week 21 to 24. The brain develops rapidly and neurons form connections. The fetus can detect different tastes and smells. The brain is like a complex computer, processing information and controlling the body's functions. The fetus's brain is developing rapidly, preparing it for life outside the womb. Between weeks 25 and 28, the fetus becomes more active, moving and kicking around. During this time, the fetus's bones also start to harden. The fetus is now about the size of a small melon. 
and its movements are becoming more pronounced. It's like a tiny dancer moving and twirling in the womb. From weeks 29 to 32, the fetus gains weight and develops fat layers. Additionally, the fetus's lungs start to mature, getting ready for the outside world. The fetus is preparing for life outside the womb, gaining weight and developing essential skills. It's like a tiny athlete training for the big game. Week 33 to 38. The fetus is fully developed and ready for life outside the womb. The fetus's skin is fully formed. Week 33 to 38. Final preparations. During these weeks, the fetus is fully developed and preparing for life outside the womb. The skin is fully formed and the fetus has a layer of fat to regulate body temperature. The fetus is gaining weight rapidly and its movements are becoming more restricted due to the limited space in the uterus. The baby is born and its lungs expand with air. The baby's heart starts pumping blood through its chambers and it begins to breathe independently. A new life begins filled with growth, development and exploration. The baby's first cries are a sign of its healthy lungs and respiratory system. This concludes the script on fetal development from conception to birth. I hope this provides a comprehensive understanding of the miraculous journey of human development. Let me know if you have any further questions or need clarification on any aspect. Let's explore how the sex of a baby is determined. Sex Determination in humans, sex is determined by the presence of X and Y chromosomes. Females have two X chromosomes, while males have one X and one Y chromosome. X chromosome. The X chromosome carries genes that contribute to female development. The Y chromosome carries the SRY gene, which triggers male development. When a sperm fertilizes an egg, it contributes either an X or Y chromosome. If the sperm contributes an X chromosome, the resulting zygote will be XX, which means female. If the sperm contributes a Y chromosome, the resulting zygote will be XY, meaning male. The probability of having a boy or girl is roughly 50-50, as the sperm has an equal chance of carrying an X or Y chromosome. The SRY gene on the Y chromosome plays a crucial role in sex determination. When the SRY gene is present, it triggers the development of testes, which produce testosterone and other hormones that promote male development. Hormones such as testosterone and estrogen play a crucial role in sexual differentiation and development. Genetic factors, including the presence of X and Y chromosomes, influence sex determination and development.